Happy Monday, this is Dal Welsh welcoming you to Make Your Own Headlines, sponsored by Kobolowski Tire and the letter G. So are you looking for that perfect gift for someone? How about a whisk? Dawn Reed is a wife and mom from Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Last week on KentuckyToday.com, she recalled a Christmas many moons ago when their family was struggling financially. She said they were so broke, they couldn't even afford to pay attention. With layaway at Kmart, they were able to get their kids a few presents, but that was it. It was tough, it was hard, it was embarrassing, and she was horrified. They were more like the shepherds than the wise men that year, but something happened when they didn't have any gold, myrrh, and frankincense to give. They didn't shop as much. They spent more time together, and their focus changed too. They loved Jesus already, but he had not been the main thing for them at Christmas for a while. On that hard Christmas, though, Jesus took center stage for their family, and he is still there. They never returned to the big stressful gift-giving system at Christmas, and their holidays have continued to be sweeter and more satisfying. Dr. Luke's account of the birth of Jesus includes this simple statement, And Mary was treasuring all of these things in her heart and pondering them. Mary was looking at all that was happening around her, and she was meditating on those things. She was letting those things marinate in her heart. She wanted the truth and the glory and the majesty and the wonder of those crazy events to soak into her heart so that her heart could be more satisfied with truth and glory and majesty and wonder. That hard year that Dawn and her family had taught her how to be a more creative gift giver. Sometimes she gives people a whisk or a serving spoon with a little note that says, I pray your heart will always be stirred by God's word. Look, I've been wanting to do this podcast for about three years. And on this hard year, I finally got around to starting it. Three years ago, my little dream was to give a couple of minutes of something positive, interesting, a little corny, and hopefully a little funny just to help stir your heart to treasure Jesus more than anything. On this hard year, I truly hope that your heart can be whisked with the sweet, powerful, true message of the gospel. It really is good news of great joy. Make that one of your headlines today.